Tell me about recycling Christmas trees. How important is that? It's, you know, obviously a great thing to do environmentally. Um, also because you, actually the city really asks that folks not leave trees on the residential uh, trash containers in your alleyway and whatnot because um, as you can imagine for the trash crews coming through it would be a big hassle and almost with the trash uh, uh, trucks that they have mm -hmm. unable to get out and get into the truck and all that right. so actually um, ask that if you have a live tree that you'd like to uh, dispose of all you have to do there's three places to take it here up until the fourth there's two temporary locations, so you can go out to uh, the Buffalo Gap, the convenience center that a lot of folks might be familiar with. You can also go to um, the center here behind KTAB on Hartford, and uh, that's up till the 4th too, those two spots. The Abilene Brush Center is um, always open, and you can take a Christmas tree or any kind of brush mm -hmm. all year round, and they'll take that and they will put it through the chipper. Oh, okay. Have you seen the chipper? I have not seen the chipper. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. You get a little mes mesmerized just sitting there, but um, it goes through the chipper and it gets turned into mulch. And okay. so once that turns around, you're able to um, pick up mulch. So when it comes to gardening or whatnot, mm -hmm. um, any time of year, uh, you can get it uh, a yard of mulch for free if you would like to load your truck. A yard is about the back of a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. um, if you'd like to load it yourself, that's totally free. If you'd like the, the folks out there to load it for you, it's $4 for the regular uh, grind, which is one time through the chipper, and then it's $6 for a truck full, uh, a, low, a yard full for uh, the premium grind, which has gone through the chipper twice. Okay, yes. wow. I <laughs> know, yeah. And what about those artificial trees? Yes, okay, so if you're, you know, Put, taking mine down too, you know, like, oh, maybe we need a new tree next year, it might be kind of nice. Um, those we ask that you take to the Environmental Recycling Center, that's the, mm -hmm. the location off of Oak Street, and then they'll dispose of them um, properly. So again, something else you just don't want to put into your residential container, but take it out to the center there on Oak and, and they'll get rid of it for you as well. Um, wanted to add that whatever you bring out to mulch, uh, they do ask that everything's been taken off of it, because mm -hmm. you can imagine you don't want some tensile in your yes. mulch that you pick out <laughs> in the spring. Um, and so please do that. And uh, that Environmental Recycling Center is at 2209 Oak for okay. artificial trees. Take everything off the artificial tree, and uh, just remember that not to not to dump them in the alleyway by your by your uh, regular trash container out there. Yes, definitely. And um, how much longer do we have to drop off those trees yes, again? Yes, till the end of the week, the fourth, which mm -hmm. is Friday. So that's where we got the uh, temporary location. So again, that's the the temporary drop-off for live trees at uh, Buffalo Gap location. Okay. And then the temporary, other temporary is at Hartford Street here behind KTAB Studios, if you're familiar, kind of behind there with West Texas mm -hmm. Rehab and all that. And then the brush center, but that's always available. Always. Any time of year you can take a, a live tree or any kind of brush to the brush center. Perfect. See the chipper in action. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. And if you would like to drop off your Christmas trees, take the decorations off and bring it to the Brush Center at 2149 Sandy Street. There are also temporary drop-off sites at the Buffalo Gap Road Water Tower and the vacant lot behind the KTAB Studios. For more information, you can go to the City of Abilene's website, abilenetx.gov, or find them on Facebook.